This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Well, Nicki Minaj has her release of her shoes at DTLR. I guess one fan had like a a bad experience, a fan meetup experience. So she like went all out for that fan, something like that. But uh, yeah, she said, makes a fan's day at a, after a disappointing meet and greet experience. This is her sneaker line with Loki launching at DTLR. Um, and uh, according to her fans, she waited all day for an opportunity to meet Nikki and left disappointed. So Nikki said, I'll fly you plus three to another city, babe. Pick up, uh, pick one of the tours and message Pedro on Twitter. Sounds, sounds almost fake. <laughs> Pedro? <laughs> It's just Pedro on Twitter. How, how would she know who Pedro is? Let's see. Here's the fan. I think she's crying. Let's see what she said. Wee! She's crying. Oh, she's sobbing. She's uncontrollably crying over not meeting Nicki Minaj. Damn. If, if, if meeting another person means that much to you, that's... that's Scary. Um, so Jay Z is entering the gambling game with Fanatics Sportsbook with uh, Michael Rubin. Uh, they will be just like uh, it's, it's not just it's not just Jay Z. It's just a thing that's out here. Everyone's pushing sports betting. Gilly, Wallow, Cameron, Nori, Joe Budden. They all have sportsbook deals. They're encouraging people to gamble. This this is not going to end well. Everybody pushing people to gamble? Drake. Steak. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. You're going to have a bunch of people with gambling addictions. That's what you're going to have. Walla warned Young Thug that uh, his crew will be his liability. It turns out that's going to be the case here. Um, Little D gets arrested. Coming out of, you know, they're going to probably try to charge him with something today. YSL member. Try to get him to snitch a new. They're looking for more snitches. Because they're losing this case. They're losing the case. They need to put Young Thug away. They're going to charge him with something. Probably get time served. And uh, that'll be that. Because I, I don't see this case going anywhere. But Young Thug's crew was was his liability. Gilly and Wallow were spot on with that. So Bobby Shmurda's trying to play these girls. That were leaving his house. Saying, oh, we... We ain't paying for, you know, Punani over here, blah, blah, blah. Then he, he's really looking like a clown today, I'm going to be honest with you. Then he tries to give this whole speech uh, about women and like he's some type of pimp with uh, residual <laughs> income. I mean, this guy is nothing short of a clown at this point. Niggas out there buying the coochie, right? Y'all niggas can fuck the game up. Just drop all the girls, right? All the girls, if they ask you out for money, that means they need it. That means they ain't got no money, right? So if they ask you out for the money, they ain't got no money. They're they going down on their money, you know what I'm saying? They're like, they got a little loan from the last nigga, but that shit running out. And they ain't got no motherfucking residual income. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Now you talking to a nigga that got residual income, so I be good, you know what I'm saying? But long story short, what I'm going to tell y'all niggas is, tell these bitches $100 for the pussy, they got to agree. They all tell a bitch, go get your dildo and go go to the shelter. You gonna get your shelter, go go to the dildo and go to the shelter. A hundred dollars a pop. I'm giving this to all the basketball yeah. players. Listen, I know y'all niggas went to college and shit. Y'all niggas is college niggas, you know what I'm saying? Y'all college kids, so I'm trying to get y'all the game. This is how we did it in the hood. When we 12 years old, 11 years old, you know what I'm saying? I was fucking bitches, 18, 19, big dude, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. That's how we running these bitches. You know what I'm saying? All and right, this guy, Bobby, stop. Okay, nobody, <laughs> you ain't no real estate investor. You ain't all this, like, stop the cap. This girl says, tells us girls there's an after party after Bobby trap at his crib. After a booby trap at his crib. Us girls pull up and he's got his uh, hard D and a little ASS tidy whities. Uh, we walked away happy. Uh, fat asses out in front of the door. You're lucky we didn't stop you for playing in our face. You're so mad you had to go to sleep with a hard pecker. Go to the internet. Uh, like the little nerd you are. Ha 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 ha. I'll pray for you. You thought you were... Hmm. Oh, you thought you were him. 
and you could pull off the strength of yourself. Go to bed, loser. Yeah. It's not looking good for Bobby Shmurda. I mean, how many monthly listeners does he have at this point? I mean, is that one song really holding him up? Biggest disappointment is him coming home and dropping nothing. People were thinking, okay, he's going to you know, get back to work. Nah. Bobby Schmurda monthly listeners. He has two million he still has two million monthly listeners just off of that the hot song. Now that did do five hundred million streams, so definitely has money from that, but what's his here's his latest single. Six hundred and eighty four thousand streams. What's all of his singles and EPs? Overseas. 186,000. Not good. Uh, frat party. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't even put anything out, dude. This is like, dude. It's embarrassing, bro. Like, for himself. Like, it's like, dude, you need to get to work. Um. Oh, then he says, Y'all street, but always explaining yourself. Stop making excuses. Come with an issue. Oh, this is Woody. All right. Uh, Kanye West is in China, and everyone's chanting F Adidas. And then Rick Ross basically wants to make amends with Drake. He's on Carisha Puzo. Would you call him and like say sorry? He's like, you know, it depends how I'm feeling that day. You know, nah, he wants to, you know, he regrets jumping out the window and dissing Drake. Because look, that was a good ally. Who's another ally that has th that much power right now. Diddy's, Diddy's out the window. You ain't got nothing. Nothing. Rick Ross is just Rick Ross now, okay? He has no allies, except for DJ Khaled. Look, at Jay-Z doesn't even really, like, mess too tough with Rick Ross anymore. He's just he's like, he really wants uh, that friendship back. It doesn't look like it's gonna happen. That's what I gather from it. Got to read between the lines sometimes. He says he loses no sleep at night. Oh, yeah, you do. Why you even got to say that? Huh? It's Jordan Tower with JT News. If you do me a favor, smash that like button for me. I'll check you in the next one. Peace.